All right. Uh, Theranos CEO Elizabeth Holmes raised seven, over $700 million for her company based on a lie. The technology that she claimed could run hundreds of medical tests with a single drop of blood never existed. But it seems that Holmes seemed certain it would exist eventually if she kept trying. So she invited others to imagine how her false claims about her technology might become true in the future. And more generally, leaders in business and politics often make claims that are literally factually false in the present, but that you could imagine might become true in the future. So inspired by these examples, we wanted to examine whether imagining how a falsehood might become true in the future would make it seem more morally acceptable to tell in the present. And these conditional thoughts about what might occur in the future are called prefactuals. So for example, if Theranos invests in its product development, then it will be able to run hundreds of medical tests with a single drop of blood. So we first tested this question in a sample of MBA students that were judging how bad it would be to lie on their resume. And students imagined they saw a friend list financial modeling on, the, on his resume, uh, despite the fa fact that their friend had no experience with financial modeling. And then students who were randomly assigned to the prefactual condition imagined whether, you know, if this friend enrolls in a financial modeling course in the summer, he could develop experience with financial modeling versus participants in the control condition didn't engage in this imagination. And then participants in both conditions judged how unethical it would be to tell this falsehood. So here on the y-axis, we have unethicality judgments, and we find that students who imagined that their friend might learn financial modeling in the future thought it was less unethical to tell in the present. And note here that as in all our studies, we didn't tell participants that the falsehood would become true, we just invited them to imagine whether or not it might. And we find this effect in many domains. So in false, in judging false advertisements, participants thought it was less unethical for the Gerber company to falsely claim that their baby formula prevents allergies in children when they imagined whether, you know, if Gerber engages in product development, it might be able to prevent allergies in children in the future. And then in judging partisan falsehoods, we find that participants thought it was less unethical, for example, to falsely claim that millions of people voted illegally in the last presidential election, if people imagined whether in a future election, millions of people might vote illegally. And as you can see, this is directionally consistent across actually every study we've run, and it's statistically significant in all but one. And then in our studies on controversial political issues, we wanted to test a second prediction. So given that people have flexibility in what futures they imagine, we were interested in whether prefactual thinking would have a greater effect on excusing falsehoods that fit with what participants wanted and believed. So you can imagine, um, would uh, Donald Trump's false claim that COVID-19 testing was available to all Americans in March, 2020, seem not so unethical to someone who imagined that COVID-19 testing might become available to all Americans, but particularly if that person were a Trump supporter. So to test this prediction, we had participants write a series of falsehoods on controversial political issues, and half of those falsehoods fit with what participants believe based on their political beliefs, and half which conflicted with their partisan beliefs. So I'll show you results from one of those studies, which is just broadly representative of our findings across these pol politics studies. So we find that when the falsehood fit with what participants, with participants' political beliefs, the effect size is twice as large as in our studies outside the political domain. And then in contrast, when the falsehood conflicts with participants' political beliefs, th this effect is significantly smaller, and in this study is, is not statistically significant. So to summarize these findings, we find with participants from 59 countries judging false claims across varied contexts, falsehoods seem less unethical to tell when you imagine how they might become true in the future. This effect is especially strong when falsehoods fit with what people want and believe. And then finally, in some results I didn't have time to show today, we find that these judgments matter. So the less unethical participants found these falsehoods, the um, less inclined they were to censure someone who had shared them on social media, and the more likely they were um, to be inclined to share them themselves. 
So together, these findings suggest that imagination can relax people's moral standards about falsehoods, and it can also provide flexibility in what falsehoods we let off the hook. So unlike memories about the past or facts about the present, prefactuals about what might occur in the future are very difficult to fact check. And it may be even impossible to actually convince a dedicated partisan that a falsehood won't become true eventually. Thank you.